hello and welcome to episode 7 of series 5 of Master League Story Mode. And now you're probably wondering, what the hell happened to episode 6? Well, it's there, it exists, it is on YouTube. It's just the- oh god, I'm so angry about this. UEFA, the scummy, absolute lowest of the low organisation. Who, I mean, the, what really makes this horrible is that actually they've abandoned Pez this year. They've gone, the Champions League is gone. But they copyright striked my last video. And there's not even any of their content in it. It was ridiculous. It was like a 10 second, just it was a replay of a goal with my commentary over the top. Nothing that they could ever, ever claim the rights to. Uh, but unfortunately, it can take up to 30 days for the dispute that I've launched, which I'm sure I will win. Uh, but it can take 30 days for that to be removed. And in that time, because it's not, they're not even, they don't even want to just take my money. They could have just taken the monetization and the video still would have gone up until the dispute was finished. But no, they blocked it worldwide. So it's there, it exists. But likely you're going to be seeing this before you see that, which is a real shame uh, because we had a great game in the last episode. We had a couple of good games. Uh, spoiler alert now. I mean, you're not going to go back and watch it, are you? Uh, but we managed to beat Swansea City, top of the table, Swansea City, 3-2. Yep, big Maxi Romero grabbed a couple. I can't remember who grabbed the third. Uh, no, don't know who it was, but uh, that was a good result. And then we battered Bristol City, absolutely no problems. Maxi Romero continuing to score goals, and he's on eight goals now, top of the goal ranking. And as you will see, we are top of the league. Yes, we are. So it's a real shame that we didn't get to watch the last episode in real life, but we do have a new mission as well. And uh, we're on course now for five consecutive wins, and we really need to get this one. We need to get this fifth win in a row to just give us a bit of buffer when it comes to owner trust. And, uh, well, the first game of the episode today is away against another local rival, Sheffield Wednesday who are currently in 14th place, and they've only won two games this season. We have now won four, and we are also undefeated. Invincibles, it's too early to say. It's far too early to say. Um, but we're seeing some parallels now between Leeds United in real life and Leeds United in this. Marcelo Bielsa having a lovely old time. So before we get in, I do need your advice. I need some of your sage wisdom from the comments section. Uh, oh, we had a scout back. Oh, we had a, a Wobi come up in the scout as well. He might be an interesting one to go for. I think we've added him to the list. Oh, no, we haven't. So we'll add him to the list for another time. He's lacking a bit in passing and finishing, but he is uh, great on the ball. Very strong as well. Definitely an option. Uh, but what we do need to look at is our uh, is our contract negotiations. Obviously, what we wanted to do was go in and at least put some initial dealings in place to try and remove some of the release fees, which, which basically we don't want because in January or any of the transfer windows, uh, a club could come in, and the, the difficult one particularly is in Kudu's, who to sign, we had to give him a 5.6 million release fee. Um, so that means a club could come in in January and just bid 5.6 million and take him for less than his market value. And uh, what a player he's been for us already this season. So, uh, well, to get rid of the uh, release fee, he wants a one-year 1.6 million salary contract, which would put him as pretty much... It would put him as our highest paid player. I mean, he's a great young player with lots of potential. Do we think it's worth increasing his salary by almost a million I mean, 800,000. Obviously, we cannot negotiate, leave this as it is. His contract doesn't actually end until 2020, so we don't need to do this yet. But it would secure him. Is it worth the investment in his salary to stop us losing him for a, a very small fee? Uh, Samu says he's got a 7 million release fee. That's not so bad. Kobos, also 7.4 million. Uh, Janssen, 8 million. And Vita Manoni, we're not too bothered about losing him. Uh, I think it's Janssen who we definitely want to keep. Uh, we'd have to add on almost another 500000 to his salary. I don't think we've got enough in the salary budget to do all of them. I'd say that Janssen and Nkudu are probably our most pressing issues at the moment. But again, let me know in the comments what you think about them. Or should we just leave them? They've all got fairly long contracts. It's just the risk of a uh, release fee being met in January by another club. And it would be very sad to see them go. Anyway. As I said, let me know. Let's get into the first game. Let's get these five wins in a row. Come on, we really need this. Pretty decent. Ooh, I'm tempted to uh, go with Big Jack from the start. Um, it's probably best that we try and integrate him into the side. I think Hernandez might be on his way out. Uh, we could play Hernandez in the middle instead of Saiz today. He's looking uh, on poor form. Probably Pablo Hernandez is probably better in that position. Uh, he's good on the ball. He's pretty good balance. He's just not very quick. So maybe not ideal for the wings. We've got our two speed demons playing out on the wings. This South American trio here, Kobos, Isla and Pizarro, have been incredible. They're a huge reason why we're doing so well this season. And obviously this boy up front, top scorer in the championship. Nine goals to his name already. Can he add more today against local rival Sheffield Wednesday? 
So we're back into another Yorkshire derby. I mean, one thing about Yorkshire that is incredible, if you were ever to somehow to create a competition where players were only allowed to play from the counties in which they were born, then hands down, Yorkshire would have the best team. I'm not going to go into it now, but they certainly have, as a county, an incredible pedigree for developing young players. And uh, there's a lot of good sides there. So as I said, this is a Yorkshire derby. It's quite a lot of Yorkshire derbies. I don't know if this is a particularly harshly fought one. If this is one with much of a history. But all I know today is that uh, we're on for five wins in a row. What an incredible start to the season that would be before January. Can we pull another win out of the bag here on enemy territory? Let's go. Oh my god. Header back from Kobos finds Boyd and it's into Winnell now and they're off the mark. What the fuck was that? Oh, that is not the start we needed. Big mistake from Kobos. Just too casual there. Header back. Oh, how have you missed that? That was just a simple header back to Bernardo. And then we've been done. Oh, that is not the start we needed. Bielsa will be furious with Kobos. We've been singing his praises, but that is a vital error there straight away. And we're behind here straight off the mark. Pizarro now. Into Whistler. Harrison into Pizarro. That's nice. And he can find Harrison again. Reaches with him, but Harrison will put a ball in. Looking for Romero. Good header away. Isla looks to put it back into Pablo Hernandez. He'll turn. Isla's there. Oh, that's so close. So close. First chance. Half chance there. Oh, he is offside, but only just. Janssen, big header. In Kudu. Hernandez, lovely ball into Harrison. Looks to slip the offside track. Romero. Oh, he's onside. No. Thought that was off. He seemed to slow down. He'll go for the throw. All the way back to Guido Pizarro. Seen the run of Romero into Kobos. Looks to turn his man. He does get away from him. The shot is... Oh, it's an odd one. And Romero's there to put it in. And parity is restored there by Romero. And uh, he can't stop scoring. He just cannot stop rustling that onion bag. And Kobos, well, very nearly made amends for that early mistake in the game with it was sort was it a deflected shot I'm not sure Romero found him good turn from Kobos and then it was it was a big deflection a nasty deflection almost straight in but Romero was there quickest to react and we find ourselves level again here Palmer into Boyd that's nice Abdi into Winnell Janssen with a big foot oh just about get away with it as well Harrison into Isla no big mistake Danger here. Reach. Good ball into Hutchinson. He's the wrong goal. Janssen comes across. Pizarro, don't make him a... St oh, my God. Very nearly cost us there. Ailing powers forward. It's half nearly up. Harrison lays it into Hernandez. All over the top into Maxi Romero. The first touch is beautiful. And the finish is there. <laughs> yes. I mean, I have to say that getting a dramatic improvement this early on in the season means that you do get a run of, it must be six games now, on a flashing blue arrow, and that really helps in many, many ways. Not only is he improving at a faster rate, but it also means he's on incredible form for every single game. And uh, on one-on-one -on -one chances like that, he's not going to miss. And that was as simple as it gets. Good run on the shoulder of the defender. He's off straight away. You can see he's pointing to where he wants it. Hernandez looks up, perfectly weighted ball, lovely first touch. Holds the man off, finishing on his weaker foot. And the goals just keep on coming for this lad. There is going to be some serious interest for him in January. You know that. Luckily, he doesn't have a release fee. Um, that was some inspired negotiation from Leeds. But there we are again. The first finish was a very easy one. It fell to him. This one, he had a lot more to do. He had a first touch. He had a defender to hold off. And then a keeper to beat one-on-one. -on -one, and he managed all three. And we will go into the break with an advantage. And we've... Found our way back from that horrible mistake. And once again, it's Maxi Romero. So three shots on target. I mean, Sheffield Wednesday were gifted that one chance. Other than that, they have had nothing. Had a bit of possession. Fair. But I think we can finish this off in the second half. Make it safe early on. High ball. Janssen battling with Winnell. That's a great touch on the chest from the centre forward. He can move it on now to Fox. It's a good ball. Looking for Forestieri. Ailing comes across. Forestieri, that's an incredible turn. And George Boyd, oh my god, he's hit the bar. How has he hit the bar from there? Still not cleared, and it is cleared eventually. Wow, that was lucky. That was very lucky. But now we've got a chance of our own here. 
And Kudu inside. Oh, he's got to have the pace here. And oh, Van Anken does well just to hold him off using his body there because there's no way he's got him for pace. But George Boyd handing us a get out of jail free card, but we've been hit again here. Surely they're not going to miss two in a row. No, nope. Forestieri draws things level again. And some very poor defending at the beginning of this second half. Let's see what went wrong there. It was a good layup. I mean, it's just a great run from Forestieri. No one tracked him through the centre. And that's a good finish. They weren't going to miss two guilt edge chances in a row. And once again, we have to find another goal to get that fifth win. Isla. Oh, caught in possession. Oh, no, no, not again. Forestieri threw on goal. This time, Pizarro is able to catch him up. But now Reach can find Fox. They really are turning it on here. Forestieri, great ball inside. No, no, no. And George Boyd. Makes it three for Sheffield Wednesday. They've come out of the blocks in this second half. Just couldn't get close to them. They seem to have just found an extra gear. And that's a lovely little touch inside. Into George Boyd. Oh, fuck. Oh, that's a nice turn. Nikudu can dig out across. Isla's there. We'll go out for our first corner of the game. Can't believe this. 60 minutes in and we're somehow behind here. After leading at half time. Pablo Hernandez looking for Pizarro at the far post. Could fall to Bernardo here. Oh, and the deflection is over. That could have gone anywhere. Kovos into Bizarro. We're running out of time here. It's not about the win anymore. It's about getting any points out of this. And now Isla. That's great work. Out to Harrison. Low ball in looking for Romero. Oh, hang on. Oh, what? How? How is that a foul? Ridiculous. It's not going our way now. Oh, Forestieri, great turn into Winnell. Oh, you've got to be kidding me, and it's over. I thought they were going to try and play into the fucking corners like they have been in the last five minutes. It's a great turn from Winnell, though. Got away from Bernardo, and that's a great finish, and it's all over here. Oh, unbelievable. Isler out to Harrison. Oh, takes on Fox easily. It's a ball in. Romero with the header. Oh, it's too late, surely. Far too late. No celebrations here. Back to the halfway line. I'm gutted. I can't believe this. Harrison goes past him like he's not even there. Takes it right to the line. It's a little dink. Almost overran that, actually. Romero grabs his hat-trick. But that means nothing without at least another goal here. And there's only five minutes left. Harrison into Bamford. Little chip into Romero's nice. Now Saez. Can he find Patrick Bamford to rescue a point here? Paddy B through on goal. It's got to be. Yes. <laughs> Paddy B. Paddy B. Well, he's been a bit part player. But he's come on here and scored a really, really vital goal for Leeds United to rescue a point here. What a thriller this has been. A goal thriller. I can't really get that excited. Seeing as we threw away a lead and we were meant to get our fifth win in a row in this game. But Saez found Bamford who came on from Kudu in that left wing position. And he's such a great finisher. He's never going to miss from there. But surely it's too little too late. I can't believe this. Free kick here with 20 seconds left in this. That was not a foul. Hutchinson will put it in. Oh, Boyd's unmarked. Oh, you've got to be fucking kidding me. That would have been... Oh, I would have smashed something. That might be the end of this channel as I smash all electrical equipment within a 10 meter radius. Right. We've got three seconds left in this one. It's not even worth it. It's going to blow up as soon as we hit it long. There's no point in trying to play it out the back. And that is going to be it here. No, no. Shit. The fuck is this? What the fuck is this? Is this Fergie? No, fuck off. Fuck off. Get it away. Get it away. There it is. Well, fine. We'll take the point. In any other situation, that would be absolutely fine. Romero with another hat-trick to his name. But those two goals at the beginning of the second half absolutely murdered us. And it was two just lapses in defensive concentration that Bielsa will not be happy with. The only question now is how is that going to affect our manager approval rating? Let's not forget we got ourselves into the position to get five wins. If it goes down significantly again, then I'm going to be absolutely fuming because that's just not fair. Romero gets an 8.5. Nkudu didn't look great. He struggles on that left wing. I don't know what the solution is with Nkudu and Harrison. Both of them play on what you would consider to be the wrong wings for their preferred foot, but... Oh, I don't even want to continue now because I'm so worried to see what this is going to do to our chairman approval rating. Shouldn't really do much. We're still top of the league. You cannot fire us at top of the league. You can't You can't do it. You can't, I'm going to a tribunal. I'm going to a 
going to a fucking tribunal. Okay, let's see. Ipswich Town at Ellen Road. <sighs> the goals have been reviewed. Don't do this to me. Okay, fine. Twenty. Not to worry. Not to worry. Good. Okay. It's at least slightly, slightly, whoo, slightly realistic. I was going to lose it there. But we're still on for this one. The big one. Promotion. It's got to be, surely. Surely. Even at this point in the season. Top of the league. Coming into the end of October. It's got to be. Right. Let's just move straight into the Ipswich game. Let's put those mistakes in the last behind us. And Harrison on a downward arrow today as well. Oh, we'll stick with Hernandez, I think. Uh, although Paddy P actually did all right out on the wing, didn't he? That it's not exactly his ideal position. Ah, we'll put him there. We know he's got goals. Although actually starting Hernandez does see us now at 65. Team Spirit, it's pretty decent. No, okay, we'll take the hit. We'll take the three-point hit. Let's put Paddy B in. He scored a goal. Can't argue with that. Everyone else's form's looking pretty good, except for Vito Manoni, who has uh, really failed to do much to impress me. No, that's not fair. He has put a few decent performances. Uh, Ipswich, a pretty poor side, to be honest. A lot of 60s in there, including their striker and their goalkeeper and one of their centre-backs who's 66 rated. Right, Let's smash them. Come on. So here we are back at Ellen Road. Can we continue the great form? Can Romero continue his scoring? Well, I would say yes to both of them. Let's find out. Oh, Pizarro gets a foot in. And Saiz out for the last game. Comes back in today. Finds Bamford. Ball inside looking for Romero. Oh, what? How has he found his way out of that? No! <laughs> wow. <laughs> unplayable. Absolutely unplayable. Row now through. Oh, finds Harrison back into row. And then the combined. No! <laughs> is... Where is there a foul in there, referee? Isla's complaining. I don't think it was him. Is that. Was that it? Was that. No, come on. We just enveloped him. There was nothing wrong with that. This is a really dangerous position here. Can Vita Manoni earn his crust here? It's straight into the wall. Falls to Rowe, though. Oh, oh, God, I thought that was in. And so did many thousands of Leeds fans around Ellen Road as it hits the little stick bit behind the goal. That was very close, though. Kobos, nice ball into Bizarro. And he returns the favour straight away. Now Romero dances away. Cuts back. Maxi Romero. Oh, <laughs> a rare miss. <laughs> but he is just... The scariest player to try and defend at the moment. That first touch found him plenty of space. Cut back in. You'd expect him to finish that in the form that he's in. Ah, oh, lovely work. Bamford. It's a ball over the top into Romero. The first touch is as good as ever. He gets the shot away under a lot of pressure. And then we keep the full press on him here. Try and win it back. <laughs> and Romero nearly sneaks it. We keep it moving here. Bamford. Lovely turn. Finds Saiz. Looking for Romero, <laughs> nearly gets to it anyway. Goal is coming, I can feel it. Isler into Nkudu. Saiz has made a good run, Romero will find him. Saiz turns back in, finds Kobas with the left. Oh, -ho -ho! decent opportunity there. Ward, fear for his life, plays it out for a corner. Some great movement, some great runs here. Saiz spots the run of Kobas, what a ball that is. That's actually a pretty good save there from Gherkin. Oh, Ailing can take that down, and this is dangerous here. Harrison can turn inside. Ward now. Oh, that's a good ball, and that's a good goal. Fuck! Shit! We should have dealt with that. We should have dealt with that much earlier. We're making mistakes here. Ailing, that was poor. And then Janssen. Oh, it's a good turn. And that's a great run. And who was that just watching there? Kobos at fault again, you could say. Just a spectator in that one. Once again, we're going to have to come from behind here. This is not ideal. Kobos into Saiz. Lovely back heel into uh, Maxi Romero. He cuts inside. Surely now. Yes. <laughs> oh, it is becoming a trend, isn't it? It is magical to watch. This is only 19 years old. Let's not forget. Coming into a tough, uncompromising league. Many considered the most difficult league to play in in the world. But he is giving these championship defenders an absolute nightmare. And just look at this. I mean, he had no right here. This is a great ball from Saiz, though. Look at that. Lovely. Lovely link up. And that's a great finish. Low off the post. He missed one earlier in the half. Wasn't going to miss that one. Let's watch this again from Sami Saiz. Oh! 
Those of you will remember another Spaniard who also would do passes like that. Guti, ex-Real Madrid player. He could pick a pass like that, a back heel, with seemingly no way of knowing that a player was going to be there. That had Guti written all over it. And what a goal that was. Right, let's go on and win it now. Nice turn from Isla. Just looking for options here. Oh, he's beaten him again. And now he can put a ball into the box. Kobos is there. <sighs> Doesn't quite fall to him, but Pizarro will pick this one up. Seen the run of Saiz. That's a nice idea. So half-time here at Ellen Road, and much in the same way as the last game. Uh, some good, some good signs, but also some disappointing ones. It was good to get a goal straight away after Nolan opened the scoring, but some slightly poor defending. Suspect defending. I mean, Ipswich have been good value. They've not had as much possession, but they've created chances. Uh, we need to be wary in this second half. It's not going to be as a case. I don't think it's going to be as I thought it might be, that we can come in and blast this team away. They've defended well in numbers and created chances. So we've got to be careful, but I think we should have the quality to finish them off and get another win in this second half. Come on, then. We do have a corner here. Saiz now. So we haven't tried in Pez 19. The... Uh, corner to the near post to the big centre forward. Let's see if Saiz can find the head of Janssen. He gets the flick on. <sighs> that worked pretty well. That worked really well actually. But now Kobos will have a chance to whip in an early ball. That's a really dangerous one. And Kudu can't get to it. Okay, liking that. That worked quite well. Oh, Romero putting the pressure on. The high press. Forcing them to go long. And then Janssen now can fire a header back in. Saiz now. And Kudu down the line into Romero. Can he dig a ball out here? He's got Bamford at the far post. Great defending. Had to be good defending there. Bamford had a tap in. Bernardo inside to Pizarro. That's a lovely ball. Saiz now to Romero. Can he return the favour here? Finds Pizarro. He'll have a go. Oh, we're pushing them now. We're really pushing them. Into Romero. Lovely back heel into uh, Sammy Saiz. But he can't get to... Oh, Saiz having a bit of a trouble here. He's not playing that well. Kobos, though, has spotted the run of Maxi Romero, and he's away from Chambers. Through on goal here, Romero. That's some save. That is some save. Thought that was it. Oh, that's lovely work. And now Ward will bring it forward. Lovely ball slipped in, but Bernardo's aware of the danger. Turns on the afterburners. And then he's full of running to bring it forward here. Bamford inside to Kobos. Finds Romero. Back out to Kobas. One more ball into Bamford. Low ball in. Romero's there. Oh, the defender. The defender was there. That looked to be another tap in. It's going to be the substitute Baker to take this one. Can we find something here in the 77th minute? That's a good one in. Janssen will jump. Could fall here. Bernardo with the effort. Oh, no. Can't believe it. Kobos. Out to Isla. He'll keep it moving. Harrison into Baker. Oh, no. Shit. Hernandez will use the centre-back. Back to Pablo Hernandez. Just to turn away from Spence. Trying to work the right cross in here. It's gone short, though, to Baker. He'll whip a ball to the far post. Looking for Harrison. Tries to get the header back across. That was the wrong ball to the wrong person. And that is going to be full time here. I can't believe this. Oh, Harrison does really well, though. Great play from him. Romero into Baker. Ah. Oh. And again, it's a draw. That's frustrating. That is very frustrating. We just couldn't break Ipswich down. They played very well, actually, Ipswich. I think we underestimated them, if anything. Uh, we had all the possession, but we weren't able to create the chances, really. That possession deserved. And, well, two games without a win will surely see us now go off the top of the table. Um, we had such a great run of form, and it has come to an end. Yep, there we are. We dropped down into the third. Still very, very close at the top, but that's, that's what happens when you put in... Two poor performances in a row. It's not going to be all easy sailing. And, uh, well, we've still got our Invincible season intact. But, uh, yeah, draws are not going to win us this title. As Romero moves up to 77 overall rating. That is now our highest overall rating. That improves the uh, players that we can look for in January. That would mean Iwobi can now be one of them. And the scout has found us something. Let's see if that's anything of interest. Uh, it's Jordan Ibe and Al Ghazi. No, not bothered by them. DeAndre Liedlin at right back. I mean, we don't need any right backs, do we? Uh, Ward, he might be a good bit of backup. He can play right back. He could cover for Isla. 
definitely add him to the list as he does uh, fit the mould of player that we're after. Let me know in the comments if we should change these scouting instructions. I think we probably should. Um, we definitely don't need a keeper, not until the next window. So probably change that to attacking midfielder because I'm not 100% sure about Sami Saiz. Uh, quick look at the national teams. Isla still a Chilean international. Janssen playing for Sweden. He's the only other starter will be affected by the international games. So there we have it. Oh, a bit of a mixed episode, really. Some good points, but also some very, very poor defending. And uh, Romero now on 12 goals. He's having no problems putting him away. We're just having a little bit of an issue keeping them out of the back. We drop down now into third position. This is not going to be a given getting promoted. We are going to have to make sure that we are sharp. We don't drop points as we have in the last two games because they were certainly there for the taking. Right then, we'll speak again on Monday for Become a Legend and then Tuesday we'll see how we get on against the Bees of Brentford and then Wigan Athletic. So uh, those are, again, two games we should definitely be winning. I'll see you in a bit.